What's sprouting, buds? Professor Chaz here. The lab coat's on back order. Speaking of backs, I fell down my back stairs today. And we're here in Pikmin 2. Ah, what a time I've been having with this game. And it's all my own dumb fault. First of all, yes, I'll just clarify. I did indeed fall down my back stairs. I've got a fun tale to share about how my day went. This is actually Pi Day that I'm recording this. 3.14, March 14th, Pi Day. But I just recorded this entire episode. At the end, I looked down. Oh, I was muted the entire time. Fortunately, nothing really lost. It's uh, We're not going in here to the uh, perplexing pool today because now that we have the yellow onion circling around our ship, we have some business to attend to back here in the Awakening Wood. We want to get the full band back together. We've already seen them. We know the blue Pikmin are here waiting for us. We do need the yellow Pikmin to be able to access them. So that's why we're heading here back to the Awakening Wood. If you're excited to get the whole group of Pikmin in our squad, all five colors in this game, hit that like button down below. Also, if you want to support my back, hit that like button down below. It could use your support. Anyways, long story short, I woke up with a migraine ended with back pain. Didn't mean to rhyme. I actually kind of did, but so there you have it. Um, first, we got to get our yellow Pikmin. I'm going to grab... I should grab all of them. We lost one, or do we get two extra? Oh, no, we got extras from things that we ate. I think it was the Whisker Pillars. I also want to grab some Poiples, because Poiples are good. There are heavy hitters, essentially. So, to uh, flesh out my story a little bit further, however, we... we... I started... Oh, okay. Here we go. So the space here where we usually get our spicy mushrooms from, they do now have one of those weird egg-like things covering us. So we need to work at getting our special berries back. But I see a problem right up ahead, one of these cloaking burrow nets. In fact, let's wait till we get our Pikmin doing some uh, activities, and then I'll throw in, uh, I'll, I'll regale you with all my stories of uh, victory and awesomeness. Okay, so there's no... Uh, Creeping chrysanthemums to worry about here, which is good. Let's get our purples thrown up on here. Call should be good. Louis, you keep these guys safe. And I need to traverse through the water. Because we have a cloaking burn to deal with here. Get out of the way! And take them out! Got him. Easily enough. Okay, so for safety purposes, guys, jump off the cliff. And Louie, hand me the yellows. As many as you can get. We are a few short. I just want to get as many as possible because we do have to break down an uh, electric barrier. And yellows are the way to do that. Uh, I think we got them all, yes. Okay, get to work, boys. Smack that down. In the meantime, Louie can probably... Can you reach that? No, we'll throw, uh, throw a fair amount. Olimar can uh, get them to grab that. Might as well grab some Pikmin while we're working away. And as I say, so my story begins with uh, blood work. I had to have some blood taken today. Just nothing serious, just the usual... Uh, my doctor wanted me to have uh, an update, you know, see how things are going. So, to do that, I had to fast, as in not eat anything, since last night around 8 o'clock. Not a big deal, but uh, what I didn't realize was fasting means that you can still drink water. So, problem with me is, if I don't get enough water throughout the day, or at least some, you know, enough liquid of some sort, I can and did uh, develop a migraine which is a pretty super bad mega headache and not the best thing in the world. So, woke up with a migraine, went to do the blood work, came back, like it was just across the street, which is good, and I had to uh, spend the rest of the day basically just trying to recuperate from the migraine. Well, half the rest of the day, because around supper time I was okay. We did our Pokemon Violet stream. Uh, then, during the day, a pretty windy snowstorm came in. Not a lot of snow, like snow and rain mixed, but the winds was the winds were pretty crazy. As it just so happens, today is our recycling day as well. So we had to put all the bins out. When I say we, I meant I. All the garbage, the uh, recycling bins, put them down in front of the house by the street so they can pick them up. Uh, as it turns out, the wind blew a couple of the bins completely down the street completely end of the street, let's say, down a little bit, and the contents spilled all out, 
So I had to go back down and grab the bins, take what was left that hadn't been blown away, find somewhere to put them, hopefully hiding them from the wind, which honestly right now, they're still out there. I don't know if they're still intact, but at this point, I don't care. Because as I was going down to deal with the uh, turned over bins, for the first time in my life, I slipped down my back stairs. My heel apparently didn't hit the stair properly. Straight to the edge, then <laughs> slip. I went down. Uh, fortunately, I was able not to have hit my head, which is, you know, the danger thing you want to worry about. But uh, I did hit my upper back, my kind of like my back hip, and uh, my left arm. And as I talk, we grab this here, which is actually fitting with what uh, I'm talking about. I think only 10 need to carry that. We're good there. So you guys take that back to camp. It's a nice little treasure. Um, where am I? Here we go. So, what was I saying? Essentially, yeah, I hit my back. Not the worst thing, but I don't usually feel the pain until sometime later. And as of right now, it feels like it's sometime later. So I'm feeling kind of sore in the back. Again, completely unrelated to my usual back pain. <laughs> anyway, we have found the blue Pikmin. At last, you have encountered them. They seem to have gill-like ducks on their cheeks. They must be blue Pikmin. I mean, you are a scientist, computer. Like the other types, they look to you for direction. While they are indeed surviving naturally, they still seem to long for a valiant leader. That's me. <laughs> I'm now picturing me leading Pikmin falling down the stairs. That's not a very uh, ideal way of doing it. Okay, grab this boy. Everyone snag it. Are we, are you slacker, what are you doing? Who hit something? Did you hear a Pikmin hit something? Anyway, I could use some of this. A nice healing cask. Can I just slather this 129 goo on my back? Is that a dollar twenty-nine? Well, it's worth 60 Pokos. So we know that much. Uh... What are you doing? Leave them alone! You need to help these boys! You punks! Okay, so until we get more blue Pikmin, there's not much more to be done, so Louie, you're just gonna hang back. Actually, Louie, you're not gonna hang back at all. You're gonna bust this up. And... I didn't point it out, too, but if you notice, when the blue Pikmin... or sorry, the purple Pikmin were taking those two burrow nits back, they each would have had a different color over their head to show how many are carrying it. The way purple and white Pikmin work is they will take the uh, their cat their captives their uh, tr uh, what do you call it resources they'll take them back to whichever other Pikmin color is the majority of their group. If there is no majority, then they will just randomly choose an onion to bring them back to. And I believe that's only when you have them fully in your squad. So right now they wouldn't take them to the blues. Oh, there's a treasure because you know the blue Pikmin haven't joined us at our base camp yet. Well, Wally Wong, you, or sorry, Wog Poles, get out of the way. We won't seem to be attacking you. We're trying to get our pellets. And that is a nice little treasure we'll talk about in a moment. We have every pellet. One more to go. Grab that. Thank you. Okay, all Pikmin are in our squad. Let's grab out the extras. Because we're going to need to carry back that special blue treasure. It's a pretty neat little treasure, almost like it's, well, I should say almost. It is basically a reference to another, uh, a classic Super Nintendo game. I'll explain that as we get to see what it is. So for now, you boys grab it. I only need 10. We got, how many? We have 20 blue Pikmin already. Excellent! Now we're to get them into leaf form. Okay, so Lou, how you do? We got our spicy berries back. Might as well grab some while we're here. You guys grab those. Oh, the Whisker Pillars! No! I didn't want to hit you! But if you're going to make me do it, I'm going to do it. Olimar, you follow the blues. Back from whence you came. Uh, I think... That's all the treasures for now. There's still more in this area. There's a whole lot of places we can explore, but I want to try to get the rest of the stuff taken care of first. Get them berries. Louie, direct your Pikmin, man! Thank you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, get down here, you. Where's our blues? Now, there's a honey wisp right here. I'm wondering if we can get some honey or some nectar out of this dude. 
for our blues, get them moving quicker. And more powerful, because we are going to need them to break down a barricade. Oh, wait a minute! Check this out! A glob of bitter spray! These can happen randomly. The purple drop you see contains refined ultra bitter essence. One drop contains one dose. Use it on hostile creatures. Approach the creatures and press up to spray. So we can, you know, it's a free freeze basically. Now there is a thing you can do. You can have, uh, I believe, I think I said before, you could have Olimar push Louis or vice versa to grab two drinks out of one. But I feel like that's almost too good. Too good of an advantage. I'll just get the one drop. Plus, it's not really hard to get the berries. Oh, uh, we have flowers to pluck. Yes, we do. Let's get ourselves some nice new powerful reds on the squad. Yellows as well, because the uh, purples did bring back the burrow nits to both places. Look at us building our, our, our team, our squad. We have 203 total picking right now. I believe that's everyone. So first of all... Actually, no. I got an idea. And th that idea comes from having played this part already, having to uh, redo the episode. <laughs> you guys get over there too. So I'm going to want these blue guys in just a moment. First, let's get our nice special reward from you know, the Blue Onion. As you can see on the name is Mario Paints, the decorative goo. What I like about this is it looks like it's an actual tube of paint, but as far as I know, Mario Paints never existed, but it's just a reference to Mario Paint for the Super Nintendo. And who, who out there never got to experience the joy that was Mario Paint? Because you really missed out. It was like, basically, the traditional paintbrush uh, app or program on the computer, but in Nintendo form, basically. So what we're doing right here, there is a rock in the uh, water, and if we break this, the water will drain out. Now, of course, only the blue picker could go into the water to make this happen. But once they do, and the water drains, now all of our Pikmin can hit this stick barricade. And that's what we're going to do. So guys, break this down. Louie, bring the others. Bring the others. Zoom out. Bring the others. Let's just dominate this thing. And we have, uh, we, basically this is a shortcut to get up to where the bitter berries are at, which is always a good thing to have. Like I said, we got two of the uh, paralyzing sprays right now. We can get a third by the end of the day, it looks like. I think I hear whisker pillars going after those ones over there. Yeah, you guys can have those, that's fine. We got, what, five? Yeah, five sprays of the uh, spicy now. Almost done. Can we not just jump over that? Come on. We should be able to, you know, let's, Olimar can look over it. He could carry himself over. I would think, anyway. All right, let's move it, boys. Look at our full squad. Well, not full. We don't have whites with us. Although, that reminds me, there's a treasure that I can get that does require white. But first thing I'm going to do with Olimar is grab our yellows and just our yellows. Because we have an electric barricade up here. If we can get the yellows to work with me. The bigger your squad, the harder they are to maneuver sometimes. Okay. So get to work on this barricade here, everybody. Go. There. You're not all working. Get to work. Okay, Louie, first things first. Get these berries. Uh, will we have time to do two squads? Ma yeah, probably. Maybe. Perhaps. I don't know. For the time being, Olimar, leave the yellows doing what they're doing. We're going to come down and grab some white, because there is a hidden treasure. Which is not really hidden. No, Olimar, don't take them with you. <laughs> Those are Louis' Pikmin. No, take the berries! You guys don't cooperate! Ah, okay. I'm, I'm calming down, it's fine. Let's grab our 15 of the white Pikmin. Because, uh, where is it? Over here... Guys, guys, stick with me. Stick to the plan. Oh, I found nectar, though. Excellent. Yeah, that grass they were pulling away at, you can get uh, nectar out of, of course, as you just saw. But there's a hidden treasure over here that you're going to need your white Pikmin to, to uh, build or bear, uh, bury out, whatever. Dig out. Okay, you check on the uh, yellows. Oh, they're still doing good. 
so keep an eye on this. Can you see it yet? Oh, it's like a giant seed. I think. Uh, time is running short, however. So tell you what, Lou, keep these guys close to base. Go get the yellows. They might be done by the time we have to get back to camp anyway. Ooh, maybe. <laughs> and the berries just regroup. The barricade just fell. Can the yellows get them in time? Let's find out. Can you guys do it? Okay, another treasure. What is this thing again? It's worth 55. A pilgrim bulb. What? What does that even mean? Yeah, I don't think we have time for that. We have everybody. Let's grab everyone here. All the blues. Meet up with Olimar and the white Pikmin. Or right, Olimar's over here. I've got three with me? Where? Where three are you go? Uh, okay, here they are. Do we have everybody? Yes, we do. Lou, bring them over here quick. Get the nectar. As many blues as possible. Okay, we're good. Guys, come back. Oh, we found more nectar, though. Ah, it's too late. All right, we did too much. Or we did just enough, actually. We end off with all Pikmin in our squad. Whew. And the sore back. Ay, tomorrow's going to be fun. Look at all our Pikmin. Look, every color represented in this group, too. This should be in the trailer. Maybe it will be in the trailer. I still haven't made it yet. Or at least the intro for whatever, uh, say, premieres or whatever we have. I mean, plus, there'll be like an intro. Usually I do the same thing. Trailer and intro are the same kind of thing. Hopefully you guys don't mind that. I just hope it's not, uh, like, redundancy, I guess. Look at the, the glob of nectar is teasing me down there. Alright, but we got ourselves some stuff accomplished today by sure thing-ish, whatever words I'm using. In today's report, we have three treasures. We've got the decorative goo, pilgrim bulb, and healing cask, a total of 195 pokos earned. And of course, if you want to earn some lab loot, throw a super thanks down below of whatever denomination you want, but I recommend this the smallest you can do, just for it doesn't cost you too much. But for every su uh, super chat you drop down on the uh, comments down below, you'll earn that much, that much, that's right, that much lab loot in our online community on our Discord server and such that we have going on. So 195 lab loot can be yours times the number of super thanks you leave on this video. Of course, that could be multiplied if we have lost any Pikmin, which I don't think we did today. Nope, we're all good. I did think of something, though. What if we lose one Pikmin one day? You won't get a multiplier, right? Because it's the, the amount of Pokos times one is the same amount. So one thought I had was, on days when I don't lose a Pikmin, maybe it should be level times zero that you get? But I'm not gonna do that. So, so every every video you drop a, a super thanks on, of course, you'll get that number of Pokos for lab loot. But I've decided to up the ante a little bit on my end. So let's say if I lose two Pikmin, you'll earn, for a super thanks, you'll earn the Pokos for that day, plus that same amount times two. That way, if I lose a single Pikmin, like if I lost one today, you would earn the, what did I say, 195, I think? Then you would earn another 195 times the one. Right? So it makes sense, combining them together. I think that makes the most sense of how to uh, accumulate the lab loot and Pocos. And we got our kid! Hi, Papa! Mama heard you got a promotion, so now she's very happy. You have lots of people on you now, right? So, does that mean you're a super captain? That's right, kid. I've gone Super Saiyan. Now, let me make sure I have been unmuted the whole time. I'm saving the game. I don't think anything's... Was I recording? Yes, I was. No worries there this time. Okay, the game's been saved. All right, with that, we're going to end off for the day. I feel like I want to head back to the perplexing pool. Something, uh, something is drawing me there, let's say. Something that we saw. So anyway, we'll go there in a little bit, probably the next episode. If you're excited for that, of course, make sure to hit that like button down below. Hit it twice if you want, but then hit it a third time, because the second time will undo it. 
So you want to make sure the like stays on there. And if you want to see some future installments of our Pikmin 2 adventure, make sure you're subscribed to the channel or join as a member. Either way, hit that bell button to get notified when new streams or videos are not streams for this, but new videos and other streams are coming your way. If you would like to see what happened thus far in our adventure, make sure to check the intro, sorry, what the outro, or the description to check out the full playlist of Pikmin 2. Before I tongue tie myself any further, Professor Chaz is signing off, thanking you for watching as always, and I'll catch you next time.